Now, believe it or not, Frank, Nasukawa has a fight coming up in Rise. Yeah. So he doesn't want to waste any time. It's fighting like two weeks, right? Yeah, with Nakamura. Yeah. He's like, I just got to get, get rid of this guy early. Get ready for my next fight. Like, my goodness. For those of you at home, Rise is another promotion here in, in Japan. Um, the promoters work very close together. So that's why the athletes are able to cross over and fight in other promotions. They loan each other athletes all the time for their, for their promotions. I'm just looking over at, I mean, you, you can pay attention to Saki Kibara's Instagram as an example. You know, he, he's the man in charge here at, Ry at Ryzen, excuse me, and Pride. And, but, Pride. Uh, and Ryzen. <laughs> and you see him at all kinds of events, whether it's deep or Shudo, always looking for, for homegrown talent. But that's the thing about Mr. Sakibara, he's actually a fight fan. Oh, so he, he, loves actually, he loves going to the fights just to watch, not have to, be, have to work and, and worry about the matchmaking and, and the ring card girls and all that. So he actually enjoys the time off to go to other promotions and watch it happen. I mean, his pre-fight speeches are epic after the weigh-ins. Absolutely yeah. emotional and epic. They're fantastic. Oh. That was weird. He went down to the ground and still landed an overhand right. Yeah, I know. That was kind of strange. That's a guy with something else. Oh, Nakamura oh. just got ate a jab and a right there, and he's going for a takedown. He's forgetting that he's in a kickboxing fight. He just got hit three times in a row. I yeah. think his mind's kind of shut down a little bit. He's trying to leap in there with that right hand. His chin is way as high, super high. Nakamura's chin is way up. He's going to tuck it down, especially against a guy like Tinch. He's going to find it. Nasukawa's going to find his hole. Remember, Nasukawa's left hand and left knee or something else. And there again, there's a single leg takedown there by, by Nakamura. Don't be surprised if we start seeing some warnings here. I have a feeling Nakamura's going to get a yellow card here pretty quick. He's being warned by the referee right now. Midway through the first round here. Nasukawa just waiting to counter. If his opponent doesn't give him anything, he will attack, as obvious. He loads up and just goes. Teeth to the liver there. Just a beautiful shot there. Back of the head, though, Frank, what do you think? Yeah, but it, that, he calls it, though. There's another. Yeah, Nakamura caused it by turning his back. So it's not about, it's his back of the head, but it's not his fault. You know, it's not Tenshin's fault. So he throws that overhand, he throws that left hook, and he spins himself all the way halfway around. Oh, jeez. Thunderous punch there. Yeah. Tenshin's just more patient, like he's calmer. Obviously, the experience is, is a huge factor in this. Tenshin's going to catch him here pretty quick. Oh, a nice shot landed there by Nakamura. The referee's no longer warning him, just telling him to get back up and fight. He's throwing those combinations very quick there, Nakamura. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful kick That's landed there. Yeah. It was all heels straight from the grill. <laughs> Very crafty. It's like a spinning drop kick, Frank. Yeah, it was a very crafty, perfect timing. Round one in the book, scheduled for three. Nakamura getting past that first round with a, believe it or not, more experienced fighter who's only 19 years old. Packs a lot of power. Look at this. Boom. My goodness. He's trying to stay up, too. You saw him just trying to keep his feet and he just couldn't do it. Look at that highlight real kick. Wow. Beautiful. And he was a little bit off, man. Can you imagine if that was the heel that caught him? His, the bottom of his foot is what caught him and knocked him down. Lights out. Yeah. Look at him spin like a video game, like something out of a video game. It's unbelievable. He was so fast, he was already on the ground, like as if he was on his couch waiting for his opponent to fall. <laughs> That's actually a very good explanation. <laughs> Here they are, the two brothers from the Try Hard Gym. Where Nakamura spent some time. These are some high-level kickboxers themselves. He went to go see them. 
to prepare for this fight against Nasukawa. They both want to come and compete Round in Ryzen. Two. Round two, underway. Nasukawa stalking Nakamura. Nakamura just lunges in all the time. Wow, he's landing some nice hard shots there. Oh my That's goodness, a thunderous combination landed there by Natsukawa. The one thing I've always liked about this guy is his economy of motion, his efficiency. The fact that he just keeps everything reserved, explodes, stops, explodes, stops. There it is again. Oh, the referee's going to have a conversation with him. Enough with the takedown attempts. He's just chaotic. Nakamura is totally chaotic. He wow. gets dropped again, though, by Nasukawa. That's a sitting down overhand, overhand left. I'm good, I'm good. Let me go. Nakamura's in and out with all kinds of chaos, hoping that one punch lands that'll drop him. So he can fulfill his, pro, his, his dream of pulling off the biggest upset in Ryzen history. He's coming close. He's trying. He He's is. coming close to that right hand. He's just dipping. You know. Oh, another thunderous punch. That's it. That's right. Fight over. Tension. Nasukawa once again. Tastes victory. He just jumps up to 30 and 0 as a kickboxer, undefeated. Continues to showcase that speed, that power, that precision. Highlight real stuff from this kid. Super tight, great defense, stays loose, stays quiet. Like you said, efficiency of motion. Explodes, three, four punch combination, stops, gets out of the way, you throw back at him, you can't touch him. He immediately comes back over the top again. Tension had to do what he had to do to win. Like, look at these thunderous lefts. Wow. He's catching him running into him, even. He's leaning in for another punch. He's getting caught. That's incredible. Great job of tension. Nasukawa is just something special. But I'm going to give credit to Nakamura, though. I mean, A, he takes this fight. As a professional fighter, you should take the fight. But at the same time... Well, he's not a kickboxer. Yeah. So he, he takes this fight against a guy that's undefeated in kickboxing in a sport he's never really done as a professional. You know, this is a huge deal. In kickboxing, now he's 0-1.